Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leila. Welcome to Leila Land. This video is gonna be about things that I have bought in Kyrgyzstan. If, if you have watched two of my previous videos, I was visiting my home country Kyrgyzstan and I lived in the capital city Bishkek. Uh, while I was there, I took a chance and bought some stuff from there because I thought that it would be much cheaper for me to buy from there rather than buying from uh, here in Sweden or rather than ordering on the internet. And I want to point out that the purpose of this video is not to brag on uh, what I have bought. Remember, I live in Sweden and I remember Jan Telagen. Uh, don't brag and be humble, right? Uh, if you don't know what Jan Telagen is, please google it and you understand what I'm talking about. The point of this video is to show you what uh, you can buy and how much it would cost. In this video I'm gonna mention uh, the prices in Kyrgyzstani SOM. This is the currency that we have in Kyrgyzstan and in Swedish Krona because I know that most of my followers are from Sweden. But since I have friends from around the world and I know that even some other countries are watching me, I'm gonna write in the subtitles how much it costs in euro. When I was there, the currency was like one Swedish krona, it was 9.5, 9.1 Kyrgyzstani som. Just to make it easier for myself, I counted 1 on 10. So one Swedish krona, 10 som, just because it was easier for my brain to count. And this is my advice for you when, I go, when I'm gonna mention the prices in SOM uh, so you understand approximately how much it costs. So if I say 800 SOM then it means approximately 80 krona, 79 krona plus minus 1 to Swedish kronas. Okay? Let's get started. One of the first things that I have bought in Kyrgyzstan is this thermopod. It's from a Kyrgyz brand called Technomir. It's with 7.8 liters. And what is so great about this thermopod is that it keeps the water warm all the time which is very wonderful when you have, for example, many guests over and you need to serve tea or coffee. You don't need to boil the water 100 times. This thing was very wonderful. We have visited some of our relatives and they had this thermopod in their kitchen. And when I saw that it was so comfortable and very easy to serve tea or coffee or whatever people drink or just warm water, it's very simple to use it. You just put the water in, in this thing. You see, you put the water here. And then you, put, you press on boil. Actually, it's warm, but I just wanted to show you. Uh, you press on boil or reboil, it boils and the water is always warm. You also can see how much water is left. Right now it's under 3 liters. This beautiful thermopod costs 2400 Kyrgyzstani som, which is in Swedish is uh, in Swedish krona is uh, 240 kronas approximately. I think that it's a very good price. I have been to Japan a couple of years ago and I saw a similar thermopod in Japan, uh, a Japanese brand called the Tiger. And when I checked the prices, it was like 1000 krona. You need to ship it from outside of European Union and then you need to pay the customs. So it would cost much, much more than 1000 krona. So um, yeah, as I said, it was much cheaper to buy it from Kyrgyzstan. I didn't need to pay the customs because it was my hand luggage and I had absolutely no problem with passing through the security control. They didn't even ask. 
I have used it for a couple of weeks and I am super super happy with this another thing that we bought in Kyrgyzstan was this dish rack it costed 750 som Kyrgyzstan som which of course is a very good price because even if you go to Ikea or if you buy in other places here in Sweden this thing would have costed like 200 300 Swedish krona the other thing that I have bought in Bishkek was the girly things I love hair accessories I love different bobby pins and you know all this girly stuff or if you have long hair you know that you need to put up your hair somehow and uh, while I was there I took a chance uh, and used the opportunity to buy many many uh, hair accessories so here are some of the things that I have bought it is quite a lot and I will have a question for you how much do you think all of this costed in Swedish krona I will let you think while you are thinking I will answer all of this costed approximately altogether 300 Swedish krona and if 300 Swedish krona doesn't tell you anything about the hair accessories I will show you another thing so I bought this nice diadem in Lindex and only this one costed 120 Swedish krona so you understand in Sweden it's a bit different prices but that's also normal because in Sweden the life standard is also different so just to make it easier for you to understand this it costed 60 or 70 som now I don't remember exact prices on everything but just I, I count when I counted uh, in total it was 300 so this uh, costed 70 som which is approximately 7 Swedish krona uh, this one also a big one it also costed approximately 60 uh, or 70 Kyrgyzstani som this one the little one here you see the difference like this costed 30 som which is approximately 3 to Swedish krona and uh, if you know the prices if you go to Zalando or Lukko three of these on uh, Zalando or, or similar size and similar uh, design three of these would have costed like 95 Swedish krona another little one also 30 some as you see there are also some scrunches here that are super nice the similar one in pink these two cost it probably a little bit more because there is a super nice design here right uh, <laughs> probably like 70 80 some these scrunches are from South Korea they have costed probably 100 som it's this beautiful design i just love it it looks so so nice it looks so nice that i don't even want to use it <laughs> these two scrunches were a little bit more expensive because i bought them at a store called usupso it costed 226 som which is in Swedish probably like 22 25 krona these two diadems I bought them in the bazaar that's why this one costed like 150 som this only 100 som and since these three I bought them also in Usupso each of them costed 226 so so these were some of the examples from my hair accessories and now let's go to the jewelry in my previous video I mentioned that I bought this set that I'm wearing now to be honest I never planned to buy jewelry 
my plan from the beginning was the hair accessories because I knew that I need it and I really needed to buy it there and not here in order to save some money the hair accessories I was just passing by uh, by a store and I wanted to see what they had and uh, it just was the timing I think because it was Black Friday and uh, Black Friday is not big in Kyrgyzstan it's only reaching the country now uh, before that no, no one knew and even when I talked to one of the elder sellers she was like hmm, what is Black Friday I don't know how come the Friday has become black like I have no idea but everyone is doing the sale so I'm doing it also so people don't really know that much right now but the jewelry stores they had 50 or 60 percent sale that's why i thought okay i need to get some of the sets because i want to have something unique and in the end i got this set which costed 3840 or something i don't really remember but in swedish krona it was 380 Swedish krona and this is silver this is not just some random jewelry and of course that's why I was very happy that I just happened to be uh, at that store during the Black Friday but it wasn't the only set that I have bought let me show you another one this is the other set that I also bought now this is the other set that I bought in Kyrgyzstan I like that it has our uh, traditional pattern in the earrings and also in the ring here let me show you here I think it looks super nice and unique <laughs> since I like uh, to use jewelry in my videos and even in my everyday life all friends know that I am always wearing something uh, whether it is little or big so here what do you think? I really like this set this set was a little bit more expensive than uh, my musical sign set uh, it was in Swedish krona after the sale it costed 720 or 740 Swedish krona uh, in Kyrgyz currency it was 7400 some the next thing you probably think about the accessory when you are in Kyrgyzstan and of course I have bought this little keychain uh, which looks like our yurt if you don't know what yurt is yurt is a how would i explain it like it's a movable house where nomads used to live so this looks like a yurt and uh, it's also with our traditional pattern so I really like this keychain. It costed 50 som, uh, 5 Swedish krona. And last but not least, probably you have noticed that during today's video I am wearing this vest. In, Eng in Swedish it's called vest. How do you say this in English? I don't know. But this is a traditional uh, clothing piece that women wear. The pattern here, this is not like a traditional pattern, it's just the flowers. Usually people have uh, like traditional patterns, like unomatic patterns, like on, for example, like on this keychain. I got the one that had just flowers and I'm super happy with it. It's hot, like I don't, we don't say that it's hot, but I am definitely warm in my back. And here you see 
this is how it looks like and um, from the same seller I have also bought this kind of jacket not jacket like a blazer it's also made in a traditional style uh, the pattern is also not traditional on this jacket as on the vest whatever it's called in English uh, I just bought the one with the flowers and uh, it looks like this the 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 production of this clothing piece is also made in a traditional way like you see this is how it looks like and this is the inside it's handmade and uh, the quality is super super nice this clothing piece together with the vest it costed uh, 1700 som actually it was a bit more expensive but I have negotiated it with the seller because uh, I think we just clicked with the seller and also I have helped her to sell another clothing piece to some tourists I translated from English to Russian Kyrgyz slash Kyrgyz and uh, because I helped her with the translation and because we liked each other very much I have negotiated it to 1700 and I am super happy with my choice you know you see the etiquette the tag is still here uh, because now it's too cold outside but I'm looking forward to the spring or summer because if the summer is a bit cold then I can use it even in the summer at least here in Sweden uh, this is how it looks like it's a bit the arms are a bit too long uh, but I can always fold it and then even with the folded arms it looks like it looks normal it looks good I really enjoyed this jacket I think it's super super nice I just can't wait to wear it so guys thank you very much for watching this very long video if you are here and hearing me saying this you have a very good patience because I think that this video is gonna be a bit long uh, but if you're here, I'm very thankful. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any kind of comments on what I have bought or on anything, please comment in the comments down below. If you like this video, if you like my purchases, please like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel. I will be so, so happy. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.